Now we all know that NIO is one of the popular stocks that so many of the investors talk a lot about. I mean, this is a stock where so many investors were expecting it to be trading towards its all-time high by now. But with due to the fact of the crackdowns, investors took and turned them against NIO or the NIO stock, indicating that they are the ones that are destroying or they will destroy NIO in the near future they ended up deciding to sell their stock. Some of the investors even went to a point where they were asking if China really cares about NIO together with all the other EV stocks, which I must say that on today's video, you will be very happy because not only will I be bringing you the latest development on this NIO stock, but we will be looking at one of the latest article which was released this past week showing or indicating that China really do care about EV stocks. So please do watch this video until the end because I definitely think that the content that I have in store for you on today's video will blow your mind and instead of panicking because of the recent current trading levels that we are seeing this new stock trading at, it will probably motivate you to add your position yet again onto this new stock because it is just set for greatness. It is in the industry or in one of the industries which are just set to do very well. Otherwise, with all that, please know that I'm not a professional financial advisor. All that I'll be sharing here with you are just my opinions. And if you seek professional financial advice, you already know what to do by now. And that is you need to go and consult the professionals. Otherwise, if you like or enjoy the content that I'll be sharing with you on today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press or click the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you every time I release or we release a video on the stocks that we follow on this channel. So as I've said, some of the new investors have been really asking or questioning if whether China or the Chinese government really care about NIO and the other EV stocks. And what made it worse was when we saw those articles about the crackdowns impacting or negatively impacting both the Chinese tech stocks and educational stocks which brought a lot of panic and made i remember even on this channel i saw some people uh, sending me messages as to they are just planning to get to at least a, a little profit then they sell the entire uh, neo holdings due to these crackdowns and all the other articles so that we've been reading about the neo stock so now this past week guys we read some of the latest developments which ensures or assures us yet again that China really cares about NIO and the other IV uh, companies in China. So one of the good news that assured us or that showed us that China really cares about NIO and the other EV stocks in China was when we read an article this week that China invited NIO and the other EV stocks to come and discuss on what they would want the Chinese government to do to accelerate or to boost this EV market. I must say that this, guys, is something that really showed a lot of NEO investors and the other investors that invest into those EV stocks in China to be confident yet again because many people, like I said, were indicating to say that the, it looks like the Chinese government is now sidelining this uh, EV stocks or it's now the one that is responsible. They don't want anything to do with the EV stocks, which guys, I must tell you, or unfortunately, I will have to tell you that you were wrong because if that was the case, we are not going to see the Chinese government inviting New York to come and sit down and discuss and suggest on the strategies that this company would want uh, the Chinese government to implement in order to make it easier for them to succeed in this EV industry. So we read that NIO together with other companies had so many things that they suggested to the Chinese government and one of the things being improving financial and taxation support policies. And it also included the acceleration of the infrastructure construction, which is something that was good. And only time will tell if the Chinese government will do or will implement some of those suggestions which were suggested by this or by some of these EV companies, which is something that is truly amazing because 
this just shows you that china really cares about neo and the other ev stocks we can see or at least you can be assured from this article which was released this week to say that china really cares about the ev industry china really cares about these ev companies which is something like i said that ought to motivate you because like guys i've been telling you the government or the chinese government supports neo and the other ev stocks they would not want to let those stocks down they would not want to put some heavy policies that will make those companies to struggle in terms of generating revenue which is why guys it is a very good thing or it is important that before you sell the neo stock that china or the chinese government really supports neo and they will want it to flourish in the future which is something that must encourage you or motivate you to stay long into this neo stock and yes i know that the ev industry is one of the industries with some serious competition and since it's in its early days a lot of or some of the companies might not make it till the end but something that i think you ought to note is that i believe that regardless of that neo will be a winner in the long term neo is going to be one of the big leaders in this ev industry not only in china but the entire world at large which is something that must motivate you because guys this company is so innovative in terms of the way or the products they sell to suppliers this company has got a lot to offer i mean for instance if you are to look at their battery swap stations where their clients or their users are able to go and change their battery at this swap station in less than four and a half minutes that offers convenience to clients and even me if i'm to go buy any other product out there I, and there is a product that offers convenience uh, than other products of course i'm going to take that product which is something that i believe it's going to make so many people to come and want to invest into this new stock because not only can the neo users go and charge their uh, batteries but they also have an option of going and do a battery swap and a battery swap station which that my friends is something that i believe it brings in convenience because you are able to do these battery swaps in a time of less than four and a half minutes which is just truly amazing and one of the things that you need to note is that for those companies that do not offer this battery as a service you'll remember that some of those charging stations they are able to charge and fill your battery in almost an hour which is something that i believe it still need to be modified there and there because i remember there was one person on tiktok that was making or that was indicating that their ev car or one of the ev cars they own if they don't charge it the whole night then they are not able to drive it the next day because it takes a long time for the battery to be full now imagine the kind of convenience that neo offers when looking especially to this because with the neo you can go do your battery shop with less than four and a half minutes which that my friends if it's not convenience then i don't know what you would want because this is technology to the next level and the fact or the good thing is that if these batteries are to have um, li like faults or some something that really need to be repaired or they want to improve their batteries it's just a matter of telling their clients to just go to their swap stations and change their batteries rather than recalling their the entire model or the entire uh, ev cars that a company would be owning which is something that brings strain to clients and would really frustrate them but whereas on the other side if let's say neo decides to recall or wants to recall uh, all their batteries in their cars they will just advise all their clients to go to their swap stations and do a battery swap and just like that their batteries are changed which is yet again it just shows you the kind of convenience that neo offers to its clients otherwise guys this ev industry not just looking to neo but it's one of those industries like i said which are set for greatness this is one of the industry which is set to do very well because in terms of the demand it is expected to grow or the demand is expected to be around 1.2 trillion us dollars between 2020 to 2027 which is something that must motivate you to stay long into this neo stock i mean just in china guys the ev sales this year are set to double and you'll remember that for the year 2020 the ev sales or the total ev sales uh, in china were around 1.3 
million and that figure is expected to double this year this just shows you the kind of demand that this ev brings to the consumers out there which is something that must motivate you like i said to stay long into this uh, neo stock and probably the other top ev stocks in china now it is not china we will see this ev industry booming but we will also see it in many parts of the world also because like for instance germany expects to see over 14 million ev cars on their roads by 2030 which is something that must show you that they are expected or the ev market it's also expected to boom uh, even outside of china and the good thing is that my friends neo it's also expected to start selling their ev cars in germany very soon which is another thing which ought to motivate you to stay long into this company otherwise one of the good things while we are talking of germany that we are looking forward to is the opening of the neo house in norway this coming september and if you are to go to google guys you will definitely or you will see that it is set to open on the 23rd of september uh, 2021 which is something that is truly amazing and ought to motivate you to also stay long into this new stock because this just proved that finally neo will be starting to sell their ev cars in europe which is something that so many of the new investors have been patiently waiting for now another thing that we're also looking forward to and this one is very close because it's coming next week and that is the august delivery numbers i mean so many of the new investors including myself i am expecting neo not to deliver anything less than 8000 because remember that their target for the q3 of 2021 is between 23000 and 25000 ev cars which i believe uh, they will be able to deliver more than 24000 cars which is something that it's truly motivating me and by just looking at that range that they set for themselves it makes us predict that for the next coming two months neo might not or will not deliver anything less than 8,000 vehicles per month which is something that must motivate you or ought to motivate you to stay long into this new stock because the demand and the growth that we are seeing on this delivery quarter per quarter has to show you that indeed this company is growing with the ease of the semiconductors we i believe that we are going to continue seeing neo reporting some good numbers in terms of the monthly deliveries on a month to month because the issue with the semiconductors it's almost as at ease and it affected or we saw it affecting uh, not just only neo but the ev stocks for some times early this year otherwise with all that guys i believe that neo is a very good long-term stock that will generate or give returns to those that persevere to the end and with china or with the chinese government showing us that they are supporting or they are doing whatever they can to support this ev industry then there's no way that it will not succeed we will see this a market or this industry succeeding not only in china but even to the other parts of the world which is something that must motivate you to stay long into this stock otherwise guys as i always say i make tons and tons of stock market investing videos and if you think that this video was amazing please don't forget to hit that like button and if you are new please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that youtube can notify you every time i release a video otherwise that's all from me and please go out there and do your own due diligence on this stock before you decide to buy or to sell uh, this stock otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all